We are great. We are extraordinary. Do you know why? God has declared in the book of Ephesians, He said that we are His craftsmanship, His workmanship. That we are created to do good works, amazing works, great works in His name. A God who is good will always see us as worthy. And a God who sees us as worthy will always be good to us. Amen. So if you have your the presence of the Lord is with you now, let His presence fill us. Let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come on, sing it with us. She sights in me, so my vision often hinders me to see your plans for me. But you're still so good to me And we'll sing my King My King Forever I will sing Of the wonders of your love The love that gives me peace Your life Your life You gave it up for me There is no fear that will persevere in the moment for whatever comes i know you're there for me you've been so good you've been so so good to me see this together my king forever Good morning again, Feast Southwood Small Family. It's another great Sunday and thank you for tuning in to our online message, our online preaching of God's Word for today. Best preaching ever. Alam nyo, ang hirap magsalita, ang hirap mag-preach online because ang kaharap ko, camera. 
and I don't know who's watching, I don't know who's tuned in right now, but wherever you are who's tuned in, live, sharing this, yes, you can share this to your friends and family, so you can start, a, you can host a watch party. Thank you, thank you so much for you, and I pray that may God continue to bless you in abundance. May God bless you, may God give you His grace, His peace, and His joy right at this very moment. So, nakakatuwa lang, because as I give the message today, I just want to start with the words, God is good. Can, can you repeat after me or say to the person beside you, o sa sarili mo nila mo, God is good. Yes, God is good. Why? Because in this scenario, alam nyo, ang hirap ng buhay ngayon, kasi hindi ka makalabas, we have lockdown, we're quarantined, tapos may virus na ongoing, but God is still good. There's so many good things happening. Nakita ko nga yung, ang, ang earth, humihinga, nag-reset ang earth, nakita ko yung sa mga social media, ay, ang sarap ng hangin, no? Um, ang dagat, gumaganda, luminis ang mga ilog, tapos nagiging maliwanag ang, 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 ang skies, nawawala yung mga fog, and sobrang humihinga ang mundo. Tingnan mo nga yung, tingnan mo yung sarili mo, tingnan mo yung katabi mo, humihinga pa ba yan? And God is good because there's so many good things still happening. Want proof? Subukan mong tinan yung katabi mo sa bahay, kasama mo. God is good. Kasama mo siya. Believe me. Kahit di mo kasundo yan, God is good. Kung ayaw mo pa rin maniwala ito, may salamin. And your life is a proof of God's goodness. Sa bahay, yesterday, nakakatawa. Our daughter, Anya, is growing so fast. Nakakatawa lang. Ang dami niyang milestones. Ang bilis na ngayon gumapang, lumakad pa unti-unti. Ang daldal niya na magsalita ng mama, ng papa, ng dada. Kanya na mag-enya. Ang dami niyang ginagawa. And then yesterday, pinakain namin siya. When we prepare food, sa love at saka ako. Ginagawa namin, so breakfast muna kami. Tapos during breakfast, pinapakuluan na namin yung, yung vegetables niya ng lunch until dinner. Tapos isang malaking buli na atin namin niya for lunch, for dinner. Yesterday, first time, First time, naubos ni Anna yung food niya ng lunch and dinner in one sitting. Lunch time pa lang. At sobrang galing. Talagang sabi namin nila, wow, lumalaki na nga anak namin. Because yung intake niya, yung capacity niya, lumalaki na rin. Sobrang nakakatuwa na sabi ko, God is good because I'm at home and I can see the development na milestones of my daughter. There's always something good that come, can come out in every situation of our life. Sabi niya, life can be unfair, the world can be unfair, but God is still good. So have that, have that. And welcome to talk number two for series best preaching uh, ever. And talk number two is Anna Wim. Why Anna Wim? For all, the, for all those who know Anna Wim, Anna Wim is one of the mercy ministries of Brother Bo. It's for the elderly. But today it's not about that. We're going to share with you some magaling yung word, word na Anna Wim. And it's going to change our life. Do you want to get blessed? Do you want to have peace and joy amidst everything that's happening in your life? Do you want to have a good rest and restoration? Listen carefully to the message for today. It changed me. It blessed me as I was preparing this. And I'm sure God's going to speak to you today. Let's all pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, open myself to God's words so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful channel. And because I am blessed, I am blessed with God. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Lord, as we read your word today, may you speak to us, may you guide us. We're going to read again from Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 12. It's the, the Beatitudes that Jesus was sharing. And last week, we shared to you the upside down kingdom. It's in the Beatitude number 1, which is um, blessed are those who are poor. And we share that because those who are poor, ang baba ng tingin ng mga tao. And then again, we were sharing what is the Beatitudes. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna read the same verse. Hold on. Hold on tight. I'm gonna share with you what the message for today is. We're gonna talk about Beatitude number 2 to number 9. So 8 Beatitudes. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 12, it says here, Now when Jesus saw the crowds, He went up on the mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to Him and He began to teach them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. 
Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, take note, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. There is a reward in heaven waiting for us. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. I remembered noon nag rosary kami ng mami ko, nakakatawa lang. Kasi after rosary, ang mami ko, meron siyang three booklets na binibigay, pati isa kami. So sa akin, sa ate ko, tsaka sa kuya ko. Mamimili kami, three prayer books yun. Para after the rosary, ang haba na ng rosary. Pa ayaw na ayaw namin during that time kasi bata pa kami para nakakaantok. Tapos ang napupunta sa akin lagi, litany. Ang nakakatawa sa litany. Ang haba ng litany pero ako mismo kinukuha ko siya. Why? Example ha, the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Kwento ko sa inyo. Okay? Hold lang kayo dyan ha, nakalagay dito. I'm gonna read it. It says there, Holy Mother of God, and then your response is, pray for us. And then tuloy-tuloy siya. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. And then so on and so forth. Pero kada, ta- kada name title, we say, pray for us. And I was so young. Sabi ko, Lord, iisahan ko ang rosary na to. So, kaya nawa ko yung litany. Ang bilis kong basahin yung litany. Bakit ito ginagawa ko? Mother of Christ, Divine Grace, most pure, most chaste, inviolate, and undefiled, pray for us. Tapos meron pa, Virgin most prudent, venerable, renowned, powerful, merciful, faithful, pray for us. Iniisa ko na siya. Why? For me, it's just a list. It's just a list na iisa-isa yung mong banggitin. Tapos pa, oh, lang pray for us. Until I found out, no, it's not just a list. It's a prayer. It's a prayer that you're really asking, pray for us. And the Beatitudes, it's the same. Actually, it's a list. It's not, again, we, we said last week, it's not a list of of commandments, of how to have a great life, of it's not the ethical standards. It's a list. A list of what? A list of people who are very important to God. A list of people who is welcome to enter the kingdom of heaven. These are the very important people in God's list in His kingdom. So if this is your first time to join this online uh, message for the feast, welcome to Feast South with Small Binion Online. Stay, uh, just stay on your seats or if you're standing, if you're doing something, just hold on because the message is going to go deeper. But it's sure to bless us. It's going to bless you. Are you ready for more? The one big message for today is this. As we dive in the message of the Lord, it's no matter what happens. No matter what happens. Kahit anong mangyari. Bakit kahit anong mangyari? Narinig ko lang yan sa ano eh. Marvel, it says, whatever it takes. But for today, we're going to say, no matter what happens. Um, no matter what happens. I was in the sales. I was selling insurance and investment during that time. Tapos, may client ako, it was Christmas. Sobrang traffic sa Philippines pag Christmas. And then, pagpunta ko sa Makati, ang, ang, ang uh, appointment ko was 2 p.m. 2 p.m. in Taguig. So, nag-commute ako dahil traffic. Ayoko maipit ng, ayoko mag-coche ng naka-traffic. Gusto ko nakaupo lang, natutulog ka. So I went out of the Spain as 1 p.m. Mag-4 p.m. na, nasa traffic pa rin ako. So ang, ang bang ruta ng bus, bababa ako ng Makati. Tapos doon ako sasakay ng kung ano mang uh, jeep or taxi or whatsoever pagpunta na ako ng tagig. Now this is the, the funny part. Pagdating ko doon, traffic pa din. And it is already 4 p.m. Sabi ko, Lord, paano ko makakarating on time? nag aantay ng client ko. My client messaged me, I'm already here. Sabi ko, nakakahiya, nakakahiya. 1 p.m. ako umalis. Of course, kahit sabihin ko 1 p.m., it's unacceptable kasi ako pa rin na late. So, may bumulong sa akin. Kasi talaga, may, may, may mama sa tabi ko sabi sa akin, Sir, 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 kung gusto niyo pong makarating ng mabilis, kasi po ang api po, Sir, oh, dyan po kayo sumakay. Alam mo kung ang tuturo sa akin? Yung ano, tagi ito, habal-habal yung motor. Ah, sabi ko, first time po sumakay dyan, Brad, parang hindi safe, ayoko sumakay dyan. And then sabi niya sa akin, hindi po sir, ito po pinakamabilis. Sabi ko, sige, sakay tayo. Nakapila ako. Whatever it takes, no matter what happens, pumila ako. Pagdating ko sa pila, ito na. Sabi ko, Lord, ang galing, para kami sinusundo isa-isa ng, ng service namin. Unang motor, susundo. Pangalawang motor, sabi ko, Lord, bigyan mo ko ng magandang motor. And this is where God answered my prayer. May dumating na motor. Hindi ko madilimutin, color yellow yung motor. Tapos sabi ko, ito na, ito na ang sundo ko. 
Tapos yun, yun nag-invite sa akin, bumulong sa katabi niya. Brad, itong palitin ng mga ko, eh, kayo na-accident yun isang araw, sinabi ko na, mag-ingat to eh. Nung narinig ko yun, naka-accident yun isang araw, parang Lord, sasaklang ba yung motor na yan? Eh, accident yan. Ano pa magagawa ko? No matter what happens, kailangan ko dito yung power clock doon. So what happened? Sakay ako sa motor. Binigay sa akin yung helmet. Inamoy ko pa nga. Eh. Sabi ko, Lord, ang dami nung sumuot na ito. Pero sige, sumutin na natin ito. Tapos maniwala ko yung pag-andar ng motor. Grabe, hakataw talaga. Yung andar niya, yung talagang tipong, hindi ako pwedeng pumikit. Gusto kong pumikit, pero sinubo kong pumikit. Pag-dilag ko, puno na niya sa harapan ko. So talagang, ilag, ilag, talagang ilag. Para ako nasa Enchanted Kingdom, hanggang makarating niyo ako 4pm, safe na safe naman ako. Pero grabe yung experience na yun. In fact, nung kulento ko sa nanay ko, naiyak siya. It's called whatever it takes. So in this message of whatever it takes, people do sacrifice. People do sacrifice out of love. We sacrifice so many things just to receive what we need, what we want to happen in our life. We sacrifice everything. Lord, makuha ko lang, we sacrifice. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. It's called sacrifice. The Beatitudes. From Beatitude number 2 to 9, the sacrifice. What is the people lo- longing for, looking for Jesus Christ? What do they want from Jesus? And that's what we're going to talk about. So, anong ginawa ko sa motor? Kumapit ako. Kumapit ako. So, as we journey, as we continue in this in this message for today, I'm asking you, kapit ka lang. Hold on ka lang. And we're going to continue. We're going to we're gonna go deeper. Medyo gaganong-ganong tayo sa iba't ibang puno, but we're gonna continue. So, kapit lang. Okay? We're gonna continue now for Beatitude number 2. Ang sabi doon, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. Have you ever mourned? Nalungkot ka na ba? Umiyak ka na ba? May iniyakan ka na ba? And again, I'm gonna give you the context as we give the Beatitudes with you. I want you to, I, I don't want you to get lost. Jesus is talking to whom? Jesus is talking to the disciples. Not the twelve, because it's chapter 10 pa yun, but the four disciples who we called earlier. He was talking to the disciples, and he was talking to sick people, lame people, weak people, poor people who were following him. In other words, ano scenario? Jesus, the weak, the poor, the sick, the longing, and the disciples. And for all we know, disciples means followers of Jesus. So all of them are now followers of Jesus. So itong kaharap niya. So we have to understand, how can Jesus say, blessed are the poor, the peacemakers, in front of these people? Alam mo kasi, si Lord, when He speaks, okay, when He speaks, He uses everything around Him. He uses the priests around Him, the Sadducees, the, the, the water, the, the, the trees, kung ano nasada pa niya, ano yun, tinan mo yung puno na yan, tinan mo yung kahoy na yan, tinan mo yung bata na yan. And right now, he's talking to what? The disciples and the people in front of him. Blessed are those who mourn. Why? Poor people, sick people are mourning. They are mourning because they need something. We're sick, we're poor, we are weak for the longest time, for so many years. But then Jesus is connecting them 600 years ago to the Anawim. What now is the Anawim? This is now the story of the Anawim. Anawim equals the poor of the Lord. Ito yung mga taong 600 years before. Remember, Jerusalem was taken over by, by uh, they were exiled in 539 BC by King Nebuchadnezzar or Nebuchadnezzar. They were exiled. Nag-conquer yung isang hari, pinaalis ang Jerusalem na punta dito. And then years after, years after, Persian armies took over the king. And now, ang galing lang, no? Tinik over, natik over again. In other words, panapanawan lang yan. And this is what happened now. The new king of Persia allowed those people, the Jewish people, to go back to their land so that they can rebuild it. Ang galing lang kasi nayaan sila. And this is what God was talking to, what Jesus was, to, was telling to those who are mourning. He said in Isaiah, He has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come. And with it, the day of God's anger against their enemies. To all who mourn in Israel, He will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessings instead of mourning, a festive praise instead of despair. Why this? Because when people went back, they were mourning. Imagine mo to. Nangyari sa akin to. Nagluto ng ulam ang nanay ko. 
Tapos sabi ng ate ko, konti lang kakainin ko, titikim lang ako, hindi ko kakain. So, iniwan mo doon ang daming pagkain. Umalis ka sa ginit, pagbalik mo, paubos na yung pagkain. <laughs> Parang, ano nangyari? Kala ko, titikim lang. Tapos, miss ko ng college. Pumunta sa bahay namin, may milagro nangyari. In less than two minutes, may milagro nangyari. Ganito yan. Sabi ko, ma, mag-overnight mo kami. Nani ko nagulat, di mo sinabi. Buti lang, may pagkain tayo. Niguto na nanay ko, pansit at palitaw. So, pero tingin mga classmates ko, pagkapag nanahanin ko ng pagkain, punta sa kusina. Ito na ang milagro. Pagbalik para magkapag ng panibago, ubus na yung pagkain. <laughs> This is what happened to them. Okay yung talas, okay yung lugar, napalaya sila. Pagbalik nila, sinasira na. And if that happens to your house, That's what happened to Taal before when the Taal erupted. That's what happened to to those uh, countries or places na dinaanan ng calamities. Aalis ka kasi delikado. Pagbalik mo, babalik ka mo sa daang bahay mo. Nakakaiyak, nakakalungkot, nakakadurog ng puso. Bakit ito yung lugar mo, ruins? And they were mourning, they were called the Anawim. But God was telling them, enough is enough. Your time has come. Your time has come. And I'm, I'm offering you an ex-deal. Mag-deal tayo. Your ashes for my beauty. Your ruins for my restoration. In, in verse 3 to 4 of Isaiah chapter 61, In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for His own glory. They will rebuild the ancient ruins, repairing cities destroyed long ago. They will revive them, though they have been deserted for many generations. My dear friends, Do you feel like you've went back and you're in the ruins? You're in ruins. May nasira ba sa buhay mo? And maybe this message is the same that God is telling you right now. The time has come. You will be restored. When it's gonna happen? We don't know. But you will be restored. How it's gonna happen? We don't know. But you will be restored. It says there, you're blessed because you're part of my upside down kingdom. You're blessed because the blesser is with you. If you're mourning, then God sees you as a VIP. You're part of my kingdom. If you have the blesser, you have everything. Number three, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Sino ito mga meek na to? Ex- simple explanation, the meek. First, someone who doesn't think he's important. And second, someone who others think is not important. And this is how those people who went to follow Jesus, longing for healing, longing for blessings, think. We are not important. Why? We are sick. We are poor. We are weak. We are crippled. In other words, in society, we are not important. Ano sabi ni Lord? Blessed are the meek. Why? For they will inherit the land. Ganito lang yan. Pinaghirapan mo, pinagpaguran mo, kinuha sa'yo. And then, because you feel now that you are powerless, because someone took over you because you're weak, because you're, you're, you're sick, kinuha sa'yo, na, na wala talaga. Nangyari sa akin yan. Alam mo yung pinakaunang bonus ko, 3,000 pesos, nanakaw pa sa akin. Parang Lord, pinaginapang ko to. Tatlong libo na alam unang bonus ko na wala pa. Ba't ano sabi ng Diyos? Blessed are those who are meek, those who feel you are not important, those who, who, whom people look at as not important because you will soon inherit your land back. This is filled with good promises. Sobrang ganda lang ng Beatitudes. Imagine Jesus looking at them. My gosh, ang daming nawala sa inyo. Yung dati yung uh, place sa lugar na to, hindi ko sa patapin nawala. You're so blessed. You want, you're following me. You will inherit your land back. Ang galing lang. You will inherit your land back. Number three, which is the fourth beatitude, it says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst. Now, are you, are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Yung iyang katami mo, gutom na ba yan? O nag-almusal na ba kayo? Kulang na yung food nyo. Oh, well, if you need help here in Binyan, just let us know. Send us a message. We want to help you. Yeah, I'm serious about that. Send us a message. We want to help you. But are you hungry? Are you thirsty? It says there, thirst for righteousness for they will be filled. I think I was around 15 to 16 years old nung dumaan, dumating si Pope John Paul II sa Philippines. Tapos nag, nagkaroon ng uh, World Youth Day. Yung sa World Youth Day, nagsimula kami sa Las Piñas. May grupo-grupo kami malilit na ganyan. Tapos sabi sa amin, eto na, magkita kita tayo this day, this time morning. So, punta kami, ready kami. Anong gagawin natin ngayon? Maglalakad tayo. Okay, maglalakad tayo. Sige, hanggang sa nalakad natin, hanggang luneta. Ano? 
Ah, sige, wala akong nilit. Yes, at tawag diyan Iho Pilgrimage. So nakakatuwa, young people, tayo kami ganyan from one place, lakad kami, usap kami ganyan, nilalakad kami. Tapos nakakatuwa kasi lahat kami papuntang Luneta. So sunod-sunod kami, may sinusunod na kami mga grupo. So napansin ko lang, paunti kami ng paunti. So sabi ko, ang base naman nila maglakad kasi talagang from ganito yung tsura, ang dami nyo, sumawala, kunti na lang, ito na lang kayo. Parang po, ang base nila maglakad. Tapos namaya, kuwita ko, apat na lang, tatlo, hanggang dalawa na lang kami. Naalala ko yung kasama ko nun, ang pangalan si Enteng. Tapos sabi ko, Enteng, bakit dalawa na lang tayo? Sabi niya, hindi ko alam eh. Baka, ang base nila maglakad. So kami lakad kami, Rojas Boulevard, ang dumi nila sa patos namin, nung paan niya, nakachinelas lang siya. Pero masaya kami nag-eventuhan, I gave a new friend with Enteng. Tapos eto na, malapit na kami sila. Sabi ko, eto na, malapit na. Feeling namin, feeling namin, nauna kami. Baka kami pa nauna. Kasi wala kami nakikita ang trace uh, in front and, and sa likod namin. Pagdating namin sa Luneta, grabe, nandun na silang lahat. Tapos sabi namin, bakit ang bilis nyo? Itong sagot, nalala ko isang babae sumagot. Nag-commute kami. <laughs> Nag-commute, nag-jeep. Sabi ko, ha, ikala ko ba pilgrimage? Napagod kami, naglakad kami. So, nag-commute kami. As kami, and then nagkatingin, kaming dalawa lang ang naglakad. Pagdating namin, wow, na oh, kami, pagod na pagod kami. And, I want to, to share with you that kind of thirst. Ang sabi dito, blessed are those who are hungry and thirsty for what? For righteousness. For righteousness. I'm gonna share with you how thirsty is like. There's this one song, I'm gonna get, My guitar. There's this one song. It's called As the Deer. Tapos itong, itong um, song na to, it, it talks about thirst. If you're familiar with this song, you can, you can join me or just listen to this song. Nung narinig ko tong song na to, parang sa simbahan, okay lang. Pero nung naintindihan ko yung message niya, parang iba pala. And it goes like, As the Better for the water so last so long. You alone are my heart's desire. As the deer panteth for water, so my soul longeth after thee. You are my heart's desire and thy Do you know how a deer longs for water? A deer longs for water like this. Nakapwesto siyang ganito. Radyo niyong tubig sa harapan niya, doon ito. Pero hindi niya pupuntahan yan. Bakit? Kasi baka mila yun. Baka mila yun pumunta doon, tapos bigla siyang kainin. So what the deer does is this. The, the deer stays in one place. Nakatago siya along the, the plants or the grass or the trees. Tapos mag-aantayan ng ilang oras, magdamag hanggang sugado siyang walang dati na rin. And then that's the only time pupunta siya para uminom ng tubig sa 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 ilog. So imagine the thirst that the deer longs for the water during that time. Gusto ka nang uminom pero hindi pa baka kainin ako. That kind of thirst. Have you ever had that kind of thirst for the Lord? And that's the kind of thirst that God wants us to have. Uwa na parang Lord. Without you, I'll I'll be dead. Ang amat ay ako ka. And it says there, thirst for what? Thirst for, thirst for righteousness. And righteousness is not about being holy. Righteousness is is being having justice in your life. Again, Jesus is talking to what sick people, poor people, weak people, crippled, disabled. Na ang tingin ng tao are are low life, are lower in society. So there are what? Crying for what? They're hungry for what? Justice. Can you please help us? Can you please, can, can there will be justice that people can still love us and treat us well even if we're like, hindi namin ginusto to. And that's when, you will not only have enough, you will have more than enough. That's what Jesus was telling them. 
for they will be filled. Because you have me, you're not, you long for me, you will be filled. Have you been judged? Trust the Lord. Follow the Lord. You will be filled. Next, blessed are the merciful, for they will show mercy. Mercy is action. What is mercy? In this time of lockdown, of COVID, of, of um, a virus, nakakatuwa. One time, um, a friend from our feast asked us, do you have bunny suit para sa hospital? Naubusan kami. And guess what? Just one text away to people, they have been donating bunny suits. Tapos, nanganak na siya yung mga taga semiconductor. Meron kami sa ikon, dahil dumibigay namin, and dumami siya. And that is mercy. Remember this. Remember this. Blessed are the merciful because they will be shown mercy. And Jesus was talking to the disciples. Disciples, those who, who need Jesus. Ang sabi niya, in others, ganto yan. If we're gonna help them, if we're gonna show mercy to them, you will be shown mercy. That's how this God operates in this world. So, help people. You're here right now, you can do something for them, do something for them. In the same way, in this time right now, can you do something for others? Do something. Brother, wala akong cash, ubus na. Do you have prayers? Pray for them. Do you have connections? Connect to people. Do you have social media? Share something positive. Ask for help. Mercy is an action. Blessed are the mercy because the, uh, God will be merciful to them. Next, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. What's the most effective way to have a pure heart? Trials. Have trials. And that's where I'm going to share with you a long story that I'm going The question is this. Are you an egg? Are you a kamote? <laughs> Or are you coffee? And these three things is very important. Why? These three things, ilagay mo sa water, iba-iba ang result. Okay? Egg, ilagay mo sa water, pakuluan mo, it will become hard-boiled egg. Titigas sa loob. Kamote, ilagay mo sa water na kumukulo, lumalambot. So are you an egg? Or are you kamote? Ikaw ba yung pag na-stress, nagkaroon ng trials? Parang tumitigas ang puso mo? You start to be bitter, to be angry, to have resentments? Or are you like kamote? Kamote ka ba? Na habang, habang pinapakuluan, pakiramdam mo ang buhay mo at nangihirapan ka, yung lambot mo, you feel like you're weak, you become anxious and worried and depressed. But there's the third item which is coffee. Bang manang kape to those coffee lovers. Coffee placed under a boiling water. Grind this. Grind this. Put this in boiling water. It produces sweet aroma. Mabangong amoy. Tapos masarap inumin. Lalagyan mo na. You can add more to coffee. And my dear friends, blessed are the pure. It says there, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Trials can either make you or break you. But when you follow the Lord, when you long for Him, when you look for Him, whatever it takes, you will see God. You will see good things out of bad situations. In trials, sabi nga, minigkwento nga sa akin, do you know that in heaven, before entering heaven, there's also fire, but not like the fire of hell that consumes or destroys. This fire is so strong, sobrang refiner's fire talaga siya, hindi siya masakit, pero lilinising niya at ilalabas niya ang tunay na anyo mo, which is God's glory. And in life, we experience that. Trials can bring out the purity in our hearts. And if you have trials right now, I pray that God purifies your hearts, purifies your motives, purifies why you're doing things, what do you want to do, it purifies your love and intentions to people by following Jesus. And I have refined you in the furnace of suffering, Isaiah 48, verse 10, sabi niya. Trials will purify your heart like nothing else. Because trials force you to decide who you follow. Pag na at hirap na, mamimili ka na. Choose the Lord. Blessed are the peacemakers, in verse 9, for they will be called children of God. Grupo-grupo yan during the time. The SNS, the SNS or essence, the zealots, the Sadducees, and the Pharisees. Mamimili ka. Saan ka sasama? 
And again, these people who have been uh, under trial, poor, sick, crippled, disabled, weak, they are not going to be For them, I want you all. I cannot choose Sadducees or Pharisees anymore. I'm in the middle. Why? I, I just need healing. I just need love. I just need, I just need grace. I need to belong. They, why people go out of the church? Why people leave a place, an organization? Because they don't belong there. They're looking for a place to belong. And peacemakers stands in the gap between two things or two places. Pag di magkasundo sila, may makakaaway ka, may nakakaaway ako, may hindi na kakasundo. So if we can stand in the gap, go. If someone can stop, stand in the gap before me and my, my people whom I don't like or na nasaktan ko, please do so. Blessed are those who are peacemakers. Because in the end of the day, the devil wants us divided, but God wants us united. Question, aside from being a peacemaker, in what we're doing, in what we're deciding, are you encouraging or uh, influencing unity? Or, or you are more influencing about division on titles, division on what you do, division on depending on age, pursue unity, pursue peace. When your group becomes the center of your life and no longer God, that's when division happens. Suddenly, we're too attached to so many things. Sino sila makapili? Oh, why? Look at our situation now. Yung mga uniform mo sa office, di mo na magamit eh. Hindi sila importante at this time. It, it's giving us a beautiful lesson. Cars right now, iba't ibang cold shape. Ang biyahe mo maiksilan, iba din na nila magamit. There's so many things we do not need, stuff we do not need right now. Itong ralos na ito, hindi ko ang susuot ito. Ngayong po lang sinuot ito dahil ang video ako. But nandun lang yan sa cabinet. Why? May ralos naman dito. And this, in this time of lockdown, you're telling me, we need God more than anything else. More than, more than wealth, more than groups, or whatsoever. May the groups, the family, the things that we have, lead us to follow Christ. And it will bring us peace. And it will help us to bring peace to other people. When you go through severe trials, you realize all divisions are petty. Look at what's happening right now. Everything else is petty. Why? What do we need? Healing. What do we need to be free from this virus? When someone is dying, suddenly, pag sinabi mo yung stock market, kotse ko, yung away ng kapitbahay, yung away nyo sa buhay, suddenly, hindi na eh. Why? If you're in pain, you, 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 not, you not look for those things anymore. You look for God, Lord, I want life. Lord, I want life. Pag gumaling ka ulit, hahanapin mo na naman nun. Pero pag nandun ka sa trial, lapit lang, bakit? Itong kailangan ko, Lord, I want life. God wants you to have life. And as we end, it says, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely. On my account, be joyous and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Why? These people who are sick, when they start to follow Jesus, they will be persecuted more. They will suffer more. Because people don't like Jesus during that time, especially those who are in positions. They were threatened by Jesus Christ. So ito mga taon to, the disciples, the poor, when they come, when they go to Him, they will start to experience more suffering. Suffering na ako, ininiwala kang pa, Jesus, lalo ako mag-suffer. But it says there, Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. As I end, there are two types of people. First, the if good things happen person. Those who, are, who wants to experience and taste the goodness of the Lord, only the goodness, when I say the blessings according to their definition. Ito yung mga, if good things happen, I will follow the Lord. They make God as if they're Santa Claus or they're genie. Na parang, Lord, gawin mo lang to. But if things don't go right, wala ng Diyos. Hindi ako susunod sa kanya. The second type of, of followers are this. The no matter what happens person. No matter what happens, I will follow the Lord. And I'm encouraging you to be the second person. That no matter what happens, follow the Lord. Jesus was the embodiment of the Beatitudes. If you look closely, He was poor. Poor in spirit. He lived in Nazareth in a poor place. He was persecuted. He was meek. 
people look at him with no importance. He was a peacemaker. He was making peace with the people. He united the mga tao. He was mourning. He was mourning when Lazarus died. He was mourning for Jerusalem. He was mourning for the sick, for the poor. He was mourning for a lot of people. Jesus was merciful. And lahat, lahat na. That's why we say Jesus was the Anabim. In other words, Jesus can call us to follow him because he did it first. He was persecuted at the point of dying on the cross. But the good thing is this. The tomb doesn't have the last day. The cross gave the last say it was God's victory and it's gonna happen to you as well your life it will not end in defeat when you follow Jesus it will always end in his victory no matter what happens no matter what happens let us follow the Lord no matter what happens I will follow the Lord because I started with you Asking you to look in the mirror or to look at the people around you. This week, I messaged a friend, a doctor friend, and I asked her, How are you? Because I know sa hospital nila meron ng, meron ng, ano, ng COVID, may, 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 may patient na sila. And what, what, and, and her reply, grabe, it triggered my heart to, to bleed and to, to really look for more help. Sabi ni ganda lang. Honestly, I'm really tired. I'm so tired. I'm tired. I feel I'm alone. Other friends, kaibigan ko yun. Nakilala ko yun. Family friend namin yun. Noon narinig ko yun, nagbago yung perspective ko. We're here in our homes, but they are there getting tired. Sino ba sila? Sino ba mga frontliners natin? They are not just doctors. They are not just nurses. They are not just police or military or even employees, market vendors who are selling just for astral food. Who are they? There are also mothers and fathers, sons and daughters who wants to go home to have their ordinary life back and to rest as well. When you look at people who need help, do you see them as, Lord, saka na lang. Sana naman nila maging mahirap eh. Or do you see them as, Lord, mission to. Outreach to. Tutuluan ko sila to. And that's a problem. That's why there are a lot of people, even to their own families, they always feel like they're doing an outreach. But when God sees them and looks at them, he sees them with this. They are important. They're, they're the ones who woke up to my kingdom. When Jesus looks at them, when Jesus sees them, He does not see a mission. He does not see someone who, whose fault made them like that. He sees a very important person. And why am I sharing this? Because as I was reflecting on this, God sees and looks at us the same way. Because whether we like it or not, a part of us is mourning, a part of us is poor, a part of us is needing of mercy, a part of us wants to be to be at peace, to be at the center, to have peace, and to just have everything. A part of us is being persecuted because of our sins, of how we are being judged. And when God looks at us, when he sees us, he sees a very important person welcome to his kingdom. As we end, as we look in the mirror, and as we pray to God, I hope that you see yourself the way God sees you. But it does not end there. It says, no, ma- no matter what it takes, I will follow Jesus. It means the promise was there to us VIPs. But we also need to do something. We need to follow him. We need to follow the Lord. In these trying times, help people whatever you can. Pray for others. Do what's best in your homes right now. Be productive. Love your family. Follow the Lord. It is still the Lent season. We have the virus. We have uh, people call it pandemic, epidemic, or whatever. But let's not forget, we still have the Lent season. Lent season is spring season. It's cleansing season. Let God cleanse you today. Let God bless you. I'm inviting you to your prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we pray for all those who are watching this video right now. We pray, Lord, that you touch those who are asking for your help. 
those who are first time to, to be tuned to this online message, those who have been regular, those who have been serving. Lord, we all have our different concerns. Thank you for sharing to us the story of Beatitude. The way you showed to us how important people are. So in this prayer, Lord, we surrender the miracle that you've been praying for. We surrender to you our prayers. We surrender to you those who are sick, those who are in the front lines, those who are affected by the virus, those who are dying, and those who are dead already. We surrender to you our life. Lord, may this Sunday be a different Sunday for us. May this Sunday be filled with your love. And the Lord gave us the grace to follow you. And this prayer, this video comes with a beautiful prayer of love to those who are watching. May your love penetrate the screams of those who are watching this video right now. May your miracle penetrate screen time and may you touch those who are watching this video we claim for healing we claim for forgiveness we claim for miracles we claim for provisions those who are afraid give them faith those who are lost give them directions those who are families who are together but still apart, bind them together. Those who are tired at this moment, refresh us. And if it is your will, Lord God, let the virus be gone already. And heal our land. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Father God, we pray that you give us the endurance, that you give us the courage, that you give us the grace to go through every battle, to go through every trial, every fire, every wave, every pain, every failure, every instability, every fear. Thought and the knowing of you on our side, the thought and knowing that you have already won it for us, and through our love for you, Lord, we can endure anything. We will have the strength through our faith, for you are there. And as we sing this, Lord. Give us more endurance, Lord. Give us more strength. Give us more patience. For you have already won it for us. We we'll just have to grab it. Overwhelmed, but I won't break. Through the battle, I will say, Your grace will be enough. Your grace will be enough Under fire we won't fall We will never be alone You will always be enough You will always be enough Now in God we trust In His name we hope I know God will not be shaken God is here with us, He's already won. I know God will not be shaken. We will follow where you go, we will trust you, the unknown. I know you go before, I know you go before With our heart now in your ways, for we're carrying your name You promise never fails, you promise never fails Now in God we trust, in His name we hope I know, God will not be shaken is here 
already won. I know God will not be shaken. God will not be shaken. No. You finished what you began, forever strong in your love. Your name is sure, and you will fight for us, our hope forever secure. In you alone, you finished what you began, forever strong in In his name we hope, I know, God will not be shaken, God is here with us, he's already won, I know, God will not be shaken, God we trust, in his name we hope, I know. God will not be shaken, God is here with us, He's already won, I know, God will not be shaken, God will not be shaken, God will not be shaken, yeah. Jesus' name we pray, the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. blessed by this message, I am encouraging you to be a blessing as well, to donate, to give your love offering, share to us your prayer request, we want to pray with you, you can donate through BDO, PayPal, or GCash, details will be flashed on the screen, take a screenshot, your donation will go to the missions, not just of the feast missions, but also to help those who are in need right now in this time of COVID, so I'm inviting you to, to, to donate, to, to bless others, let your giving give more. Never underestimate the power of giving. You feel like it's small, but in the hands of the Lord, it will be multiplied and bless a lot of people. So thank you so much for watching this video and have a great week. God bless you.